Hello everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Telegraph Herald, More Than the Score, presented by Dubuque Bank and Trust and Dubuque Auto Plaza. I am your host Steve Ortman. We are on location this week at East Dubuque High School to catch up with the Warriors boys basketball team off to a fantastic start this season. They are 16-0 and have achieved their highest ranking in the Associated Press Class 1A poll, ranked third overall in Class 1A. I am joined now by East Dubuque head boys basketball coach Eric Miller. Coach, thanks for joining me on the show. Now, obviously this team has had many great starts before. What did you see in the off season as you're heading into the season that told you that this team could do something special this season? Well, the first thing is, um, you know, we've got a lot of them back. So uh, seeing, new, you know, not a lot of new faces usually helps. So, um, and we're young. I mean, we had a lot of kids go through some tough varsity minutes last year as freshmen and sophomores. And, you know, uh, when you do that when you're that young, sometimes you come back and feel like you're a senior. Thankfully, they're not. I mean, we've got a couple more years. But yep. you just kind of knew with all the kind of returning faces. And, and we won 22 games last year. We knew we had a chance to be pretty good. Yeah, uh, obviously this program has had success for many years now, you know, under your watch. And uh, this team could shoot the three. Talk about this team and how you guys can be able to light things up there from beyond the arc. Uh, yeah, we, we like to shoot this probably more than I would like us to shoot it sometimes. Um, but we have multiple kids, you know, we have multiple kids who hit shots. And um, I think right now we've got five guys um, that have led us in scoring this season, five or six. Um, I'm not sure if we had a six guy lead us or not, but we've had six guys in double figures. Um, and all of those guys can shoot the three. So uh, we spread it around, and that's hard to guard. You know, when you have so many guys who handle it and shoot it, um, it stretches the defense, which is really what we're trying to do. We, we'd really like to be closer to the basket, but um, the ability to stretch the defense definitely helps. Sure. Now, uh, I've had a lot of success in the regionals, regional championship in 2015. What have you seen from this team at this point of the season that, that shows you that this is a team to make another run in the postseason? Well, I mean, we've been at that regional championship level a lot. So I think part of it is familiarity. You know, the, these guys know what it takes to get there. We were in the regional title game last year and lost a tough one here at home to Aquin. Um, really, you just want to keep getting there. I, I keep saying if we keep getting on the doorstep, eventually, you know, you knock the doors down. Um, so, you know, when you get to that, round of uh, regional finals. That's the best 32 teams in Illinois in Class 1A. And, I mean, we have like 200 plus teams in 1A, so that's good basketball. You're getting to the best 10% of Illinois, and everybody here can play when you get there. So you really don't have any guarantees of winning games once you get there, but I think the more often you get there, the chances improve. Yep. All right, well, thanks for joining us, Coach. Let's throw it to Steve now with some of the East Dubuque players. All right, thanks, Steve. Great job, by the way. I am here now with a couple of players from the East Duke basketball team. We got Nicholas Kleesner, Peyton Heller. Guys, thanks for joining us on the show. Peyton, what did you see from this team in the off season that told you that you guys could go on a run and be off to this great start to the season? Well, every single day, everyone is in here putting in some good work. They're working out and practicing drills and everything to get better. So we're ready for the season. Sure. Now, Nicholas, can you tell me highest ranking this team has ever achieved in the Associated Press poll? Is that something you guys think about? Is that even on your radar? What does it mean to, to achieve that level? It means a little bit to us. We don't pay attention too much and let it bother us too much. We just work, come in and work every day. Sure. Now, NUIC conference, always tough. What does it mean for you guys to be on this run right now and be able to prove yourselves against all these great teams? It feels great, and we want to keep, keep proving ourselves, too. Yeah, now... Can you guys both tell me a little bit chemistry about this team? Obviously, you're off to a 16-0 start. You're highly ranked. That's got to be a big part of it. Talk about playing on this team and how you guys have developed that chemistry since last season. Well, we all every summer we play about we, this summer we played about 30 games, so we played a lot together. And then last year, most of us were up on varsity and we all played together. And how much do you think that's really go gone into the success you guys have had so far this year? I think it, it's a lot because we all understand each other and we're on an all, we are all unselfish so that. now undefeated team talk to coach Miller you guys are great at shooting the three well I'm laying down the challenge right now three-point shootout let's see if you can take on this old man and beat me what do you say Bring it on. oh yeah all right all right we are all ready to go for the three-point shootout rules are simple five spots across the arc first shot is worth one point. Second shot at each spot is worth three points. That's the money ball. Well, with the most points wins. Pretty simple. We had a couple of East Dubuque rebounders here. Hunter Sherman, Joey Quinn. Hi, guys. We got our rebounders. And let's see if these uh, young pups can keep up with the old man. Oh, back sword. All right, here we go. Give me five. 
the exhilarating three-point contest. Nicholas Kleesner, clear winner with 12 points. Peyton Heller did a fantastic job of not making me feel like a schlub. He scored two points, had to die with two points. Peyton, uh, what do you think of Nicholas's performance? He was lucky. Clearly, I agree. Anyways, thanks for coming on the show, East Dubuque Boys Basketball. Good luck the rest of the way here on this season. And that is going to do it for this week's episode of Telegraph Herald. More than the score, presented by Dubuque Bank and Trust and Dubuque Auto Plaza. I am your host, Steve Ortman, and we'll see you next week.